Ken, having the riff, you're quite impressed with the Italian riff. <laughs> well, I just think we're going to go through a couple of the decisions that he took. And I think there's, it's fantastic after a game that uh, the coach, Dobson, and the captain also said they thought that the ref was fine. He was great. I certainly didn't think there were any issues in this game regarding the referee. I thought he was calm. I thought the decisions he took, he uh, consulted well with his TMO and with, the touch, and with the touch judges. So they worked really well as a team. It's a very, very big game for an Italian guy to, to, uh, to come to this level. Mm. I know that his uh, his mentor, I think, is is Jaco Pepe. He, you know, he, he's trying to emulate what Jaco has done, which has been one of the top referees in the world, if not the top referee. So he's a guy, I think, in this game, he's done a fantastic job. Have a look at some of the some of these decisions he took, and um, and the way in which he handled it. The Rus, uh, I think, we start off, I think, with the Rus uh, yellow card, yellow card um, where. When it happens, you know, really quickly, you think, geez, that the ball's out. That's a bit unfair. Um, but uh, if you have a look at this, at this ruck, I mean, here again, catch up defender, you know, talking uh, to what you were talking about there, uh, Robbie. They're going, look where Russ is. I mean, he's no, there's no way he was ever behind the last man's feet. It was, a, it was five metres out. It was a ball on the front foot. The ball was out, but you have to be behind the last man's feet before you can play that ball, because there was a tackle, and, and a tackle constitutes an offside. So, uh, great decision. Nice and calm. Hometown uh, uh, boy, you know, bang, you're off. Look, he's not behind the last man's feet, not even close. So, at the time, you thought, gee, that ball's out. But a good decision by the referee. Yeah. We move on to the next one. Um, well, it was a line you, break as well, and generally, yeah. from a line break, if you're in offside positions, you're, you're going to yeah. get pinged anyway. No, that's right. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how quickly we can see these, but we just keep them rolling because otherwise it's going to be take a very long time. We've got. Yeah. Okay. Here's yeah. Here's a player who's in the in the in the in the uh, in the uh, breakdown. And uh, he used, he, the ref doesn't see it immediately, uh, and, but I think Adamson from the side saw what happened. And have a look at uh, Pauli De is trying to pass the ball, and bang, the hand comes out, knocks the ball out of his hand. Referee sees it, time off. Time off, and just, just calmly. He's not supporting his body weight. Not supporting his body weight. Number nine. Agree. Number ten. Yellow card. You know, that's, that's clear, calm had the use of technology, wasn't influenced. There's one, one from Munster, one from Stormers. Off they, off they went, you know, really good. Can we go to the next one? Zas turnover, is it? Yeah. And here you see, uh, you know, I think a lot of the Stormers players were upset because they, uh, they thought that, that uh, yeah, he chips ahead, he chases. Um, now, if you have a look at Zas here, he gets up. But he never ever releases the player and one hand is on the ball. Now look at all of them. They're Dan Duplessis throwing his arms around, the guy on the you touch. But he, if you listen to the ref, here you see, that looks as though he's on the ball, but previous to that, his one hand he was still on the tackle player and he could have been penalised for not re releasing the ball. I thought that was a good decision. 